And now it's time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for today, April 3rd, 2013. As you know, Mr. Horgan is actually uh, he's spending time with his family right now, as he mentioned in the last video. So, so I am f I'm filling in. Well, but the reason why I'm doing this recap is because one of the games that I wanted to do got played. So here are the games that were played played today. Hey, Squeeze Play, Punch a Bunch, Cover Up, Danger Price, Freeze Frame, and Dice Game. Game. Our first contestant was William. He played Squeeze Play for a chance to win a trip to Buenos Aires, Argentina, modeled by, by Bean Town's own radical Rob Wilson. The wrong price was 91831 The nine was correct, and the second one was correct. Based on which number he chose to remove, he chose to remove the the free, making the new price nine thousand one eighty one. Interesting. And when Drew revealed the actual retail price of the trip, it what it turned out to be nine thousand eight thirty one. Huh, should he should have removed the first one? Sometimes. As a rule states, sometimes, sometimes if, a, if a low number is in and doesn't repeat, you got to remove it. But, ah, oh, too bad. Taylor was the next contestant. She played Punch-A-Bunch for a chance to win up to $25,000 in cash. The $25,000 Drew Fing was modeled by, was held by Manuela. Ayla. Uh, in her first chance of winning a punch, it was a... Was a, it was a citrus press by labeled as a juicer. The wrong price was $299. Taylor believed the actual retail price was lower. And it was. It was $240. She got herself a punch. Then the next item up was a heater. Wrong price was $49. She believed the actual retail price was higher. Here. And it was higher. It was $90. Next, the next item up was a hot dog roller. Wrong price was $89. She believed the, Taylor believed the actual retail price was lower. And it was. It was $60. Finally, the last item was, it was kind of like some waffle pan or something, but at least it was a pan. Wrong price was at $39. She, Taylor believed the actual retail price was lower. I was kind of thinking higher, but turns out I was wrong. It was lower. It was $13. So she won all four punches. Is. And in her and now for the punch results. In her first punch, she got one thousand dollars in cash. She decided to throw that away. Then on her second punch, she got two hundred and fifty dollars. She decided to throw that away as well. And in her third punch, she got the same amount from the previous two hundred and fifty again. She decided to throw that away. So for the fourth and final punch, she got. She got one thousand dollars again, so so not so one thousand dollars isn't bad. So and it didn't even really matter if she chose to have if she had chosen to even if she chose to walk to to stop only after the first punch, it w really wouldn't have mattered anyway in the outcome. Cause kind of strange when the first and last punches have the same amount amount, and you use all four, but. Anyways, $1,000 isn't bad, and that'll go down as a consolation win. Carly was the next contestant. She played cover-up for a chance to win a new Honda CRZ vehicle. The wrong price was $14,512. In her first ch chance, she covered up the 1 with a 2, the, the 4 with a 7, the 5 with a 1, the one with a five and the six and the two with a six, making the new price twenty-seven thousand one fifty-six. Was that the that the correct price of the car? No, it wasn't. But did she have at least one number right? Yes, she did. She had the two right. Right. All right. So in her second attempt, she covered up the the, zero, the seven with a zero, the one with a seven, the five with a nine. And the six with a seven, making the new price twenty thousand seven ninety seven dollars. Was that the actual retail price of the car? No, it was not. Not. But did she have at least at least one other more number right? Yes, she did. She had two more numbers right, making she had the zero and the seven right. So, 
in her third attempt to changing, she covered up the, the 9 with an 8 and the se 7 with a 1, making the new price $20,781. Was that the price of the car? No, it was not. But, did she have at least one number right? No, she didn't! And the game was over! Actual retail price of the Honda, the CRZ, $20,724. Ah, ah, another contestant that doesn't want to want to put a repeat, want to you make the first number in the car also be the fourth number. They, re I wonder, I can't understand how Mike Richards does that. But anyways, moving on. Diane was the next contestant. She played Danger Price for a chance to win these four prizes. A set of Prada sh designer Prada shoes, an iMac computer, a new kayak, and a shovelboard table. The danger price was set at $600. In her first attempt, she chose to go with the products, Prada shoes. Oh, shoes. The price. Men Manuela. Re I Amber re revealed the price to be $2,550. Or so the game continued. In her next. Next attempt, she went with the iMac computer. Felt pretty good good about that. Actual retail price of the iMac, $3,229. For a moment, I would... Well, good thing I went with that. I first thought the price would have been the familiar price of $3,618, but turns out it was kind of different. But either way, it still, would have, still worked. worked. And finally, for the win, she chose to go with the kayak instead of the shuffleboard table. Oh, you know, and the price of the kayak turned out to be... I, oh, I can't believe it. $1,899! She became a winner! Which, which meant that the danger price, price of 600 was the shuffleboard table. But, so she won all, all four prizes, giving her a grand total of $8,278 in, in prizes. Great job. All right, Barbara was the next contestant. She chose free. She played freeze frame for a chance to win a new living room group mod as modeled by Manuela. Uh, she ended up stopping freezing a price uh, at eight thousand three hundred ninety-four dollars. That may sound like a reasonable price for a living room, but was it correct? Well, we'll see. The and when the actual retail price was revealed, it turned out to be. $8,394! Barbara became a winner! Uh, so she gets to enjoy oh, all the movies in the in her living room since we know she also won the Warner Brothers movie set in in, in Contestants Row as well. There we go. Alright, finally, Donald was the final contestant and he was wearing a shirt that said the words, I miss Rachel. Well, which makes sense since we know Rachel Rachel is currently on maternity leave, and the only models on today's show were Rob, Amber, and Manuela. No, Gwendolyn. And though. Oh. Anyways, Donald, he played the dice game for a chance to win a new Chevy Spark LS modeled by Rob. Rob, the first number in the price of the car was a one. One. In his first, in the first attempt of rolling the dice, he rolled a five. Was that the next number in the car? No, it wasn't. He ch he believed yet the the actual number was number was lower. Or some now some people might think that th that now not many people would usually do this this, but I think this actually kind of works since uh, in my opinion since I know the Chevy Spark's actually the cheapest car that's been sold on the show that's been been uh, sold as a prize on the show now these days. But anyways, moving on. In it for in his next roll, he rolled a one. Was that the next number in the car? No, it was not. But we knew it was higher. So good. So that. So so great number there. And then in his next 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 a, a chance of rolling a number, he ro rolled a six. Was that the next number in the car? Yes, it was. So so the six was placed on the board. And then in his Final attempt, final roll, he rolled a number five. Was that the, the next, that the, was that the last number in the car? No, it wasn't. He, be, he believed he, 
he, he went with the odds and chose lower. So, so we know the pattern was lower, higher, your higher, lower. Or only for the second, third, and fifth number, since we we already know that the fourth number was six. Six. Well, they started to start with the second number. So was this was the second number lower than a five? Yes, it was. It was a four. Four. One of the first one. So that means it's the first time you've ever. Well, okay. Was the neck was. We know the second number, the third number was higher than a one, and it was, and yes, it was. It was a three. Now, if the last number was lower than a five, Donald would become a winner. And and I tell you, Mike, the chances of him winning that car were looking pretty good to me. And when the last num, and was the last number lower than a five? The answer is. Yes, it was! It was a two! Actual retail price, $14,362. Donald became a winner. Great job for him. All right, and now on to the acknowledgement section. Uh, first off, there was no grocery theme game played today. Hey, but if they did have one, and if it was the last game, if Dice Game had not been played, I only would have done the recap if Hole in One had been played. Hey, and I'll still plan to do it next time that game gets played, but the other possible grocery fiend games that are played for cars, as we know well, stack the deck, let them roll, and I can't think of any others. Others, but... Oh, oh and pass the buck, but neither of those were played. But also, also, I think this was also the first time that the Chevy... That the Chevy Spark Sparks actual retail price did not have the familiar price of thirteen thousand nine twenty, yeah, as we've saw, seen in the past. Well, pretty much because they made it impossible with the dice game being played, since they don't, since the game, as we know, can, does not have any zeros nor nor no nor any numbers higher than six, for that matter. But in addition, dice game was the game was also played for the first time since Celebrity Char the beginning of Celebrity Charity Week back in February when the Lachey brothers were were on, uh, on, on, and and also finally punch a bunch losing streak. streak despite that it gets consolation wins, punch a bunch losing streak has reached 104, dating back. Four, but maybe someday somebody will win $25,000 in cash completely. As Mr. Horgan states, it's like winning the lottery. I don't know if the 25 will ever be won, won before this season's over, but we'll see what happens. But if it doesn't, I'm sure it can also get won in a future season. But anyways, we'll never know. No. And that's all for the acknowledgments. And now... Now... And now, on to... To the contestants I'll mention. Contestant recognition goes to Taylor for her small win in Punch a Bunch. And the MVPs of the Price is Right are Di Diane and Barbara and Donald for their pricing game wins. And to Carly for winning her showcase, which contained, contained a, a, a smartphone, a trip to Portland, Maine, which I have been there many times, considering that I often like going to Maine in the summer, and the Dodge Dart SC. Let's see. So, this and the first two prizes were presented behind door number four, 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 and were modeled by Rob. Hey, four, aka Rob, and I can't remember who modeled the Dodge Dart SC, but uh, anyways, Ace, it was so, it was great. Carly bid twenty-two thousand fifty dollars for a showcase. Actual retail price. Twenty-five thousand three hundred thirty-three, a difference of three thousand two hundred eighty-three dollars. So, Carly did win a car after all, and I guess guess I can say that a second chance definitely pays off, indeed. Indeed. Ah, so great! Gr what a comeback for Carly. And now, and since the trip to Maine was was one of the prizes in the showcases, cases if says I think a. Uh, I think I'll have a sponsor for this showcase. Hey, so unfortunately it's something I can't show, because for my sponsor for today's pricing game recap, uh, today's pricing game recap is sponsored by the Lord and Wally Morning Show. Weekdays from 5.30 to 10, only on Boston's Classic Hits. 
Hits 105.7 WROR-FM. All your hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. 80s, don't forget, and speaking of Maine, don't forget to listen to the Men From Maine sketches weekday mornings at 6.15 and 7.15 a.m. I'm sure Lem and Ephus would definitely love love that, especially if they like Carly Wing their showcase. And as they'd say at the end of every Men From Maine sketch, I uh, uh, But anyways, now... On to some other big things. Now, as we know, we all know that tomorrow's episode is going to be a rerun, so there will not be a price, a regular pricing game recap cap for tomorrow. Instead, Mr. Horgan, as we know, will do a retro pricing game recap. And, uh, and of course, Mr. Horgan won't be doing the recap Friday because uh, he's actually had, because as he stayed, he'll be out with friends. So, chances are Money7373 will do the recap unless a few other pricing games get played. As I say, if Golden Road gets played, I'm 264 Shirt will do the recap. If, <clears throat> if Checkout, Take Two, Triple Play, or Shell Game gets played, Sports Guy 528 does the recap. And, oh, and finally, if Pocket Change, Change, Hole in One, Shopping Spree, or Pick a Number gets played, I'll be back again. But anyway, well, we'll just see what happens on Friday to end the week. But it's going to be fun. Anyways, thanks for watching this pricing game recap. And as just like they say, this is Martin S51989 reminding you to help control the pet population. Don't forget to have your pet spayed and neutered. And as Lauren would say in ROR, join us again soon for another episode of the exciting adventures of Man from Maine. Uh, yeah, right there on the Lord and Wally Morning Show. I just wanted to say, add that for fun. Anyways, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.